pray for us as we try to study. We're going to study some this morning and uh, read some in John's chapter, John's uh, uh, gospel in the 16th chapter. We'll start with verse 1 of John 16. Read a few verses here and uh, <clears throat> try to get a, a thought together for us. In uh, John 16, 1, <clears throat> These things have I spoken unto you that you should not be offended. And he's talking about here this morning when he's talking about this in verse and up in 15 he says, But this comes to pass that the word might be fulfilled that is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. But when the Comforter is come whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me, and ye also shall bear witness of me, because ye have seen, have been with me from the beginning. Now, I would this morning, and, and try to encourage everybody this morning, uh, Jesus Christ is sitting on the throne Amen. with Christ, with God. And he sent the Holy Spirit to be with us, and he has entered into those that are saved. He is, he is bearing witness with those souls that are saved. And he, he speaks to your hearts from time to time. And He encourages you to uh, do things that would be pleasing to the Lord. And so there's no, there's no doubt about, there should be any doubt in your mind that the Holy Spirit dwells within. Amen. And your body is that temple of the Holy Spirit. And so, first of all, this morning, you need to take care of that body, and you need to provide a place for the Holy Spirit to dwell, and to have a good place to dwell, because He's the one that's guiding you. Now, Jesus has left this world, and He's beside the Father, sitting beside the Father, and He's making intercessions for you and for me, because we, we have been saved, and we pray. Uh, and ask the Lord for things, and He bears witness with our prayers. Amen. And so this morning, that's the that's the Trinity: God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And so this morning, you have the Holy Spirit within you, and uh, don't squinch or don't don't think, well, hey, that's because listen, you've got it, and you need to be proud of it. You need to thank the Lord for it. You Amen. need to shout glory, hallelujah, because right. the Holy Spirit dwells within you. So this morning. I want him to read that because he says, and, and I, as we done read in chapter 16, verse 1, These things have I spoken unto you, that you should not be offended. They shall put you out of the synagogue, yea, and the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doth, doeth God's service. And listen, this morning, I can point you to some, a tribe of people, a nation of people, the uh, Muhammad followers, Listen, that's exactly what they believe Amen. right now. If they can kill one that professes that God is the Father and not Mohammed, that's that's their thing. They right. rejoice in it and they think that they're doing God a favor or Mohammed a favor. And so this is what he's talking about here. The time will come and it's already here. But he says, and these things will they do you will will they do to you because they have not known the Father nor me. And so there is people in this world today that does not know God the Father. Right. They do not know God the Son. They do not know the Holy Spirit. They know a they know of a man once that lived and they give him honor and glory and that was Mohammed and they believe that he was the one that is the he is the Son of God or the, the Christ and that's who they worship. And right. listen, this morning, they have no desire whatsoever, as Brother Larry's talking about singing praise. They can't sing praise to God, because listen, they do not know Him, they do not Amen. know His Son, this morning. So, he said, but these things have I told you, that when the time comes, you may remember that I told you of them, and these things I said, not unto you at the beginning, because I was with you. And so he... He is telling them why he is fixing to leave and who he's going to send. But now I go my way to him that sent me, the Father. And none of you ask me whether goeth thou. But because I have said these things unto you, sorrow has filled your heart. And they, 
They did not understand where that he was going. They right. didn't understand what was going to happen to him. They didn't understand that he was going to be killed and hung on the cross of Calvary. They didn't understand none of these things. They didn't know him. But he said in verse 7, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is expedient Amen. for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you, but if I depart, I will send him unto you. And so here is proof this morning that the Holy Spirit is dwelling here upon the earth and he's making intercessions or he's making uh, uh, corrections or, or, or talking to our souls this morning and guiding us. And, 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 and here Jesus is uh, saying here he's going away. But he's sitting on the right hand of the Father. And listen, when we pray and when we ask God for things, and we should pray, Our Father which art in heaven, and, 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 and in the name of Jesus pray. Listen, he turns to the Father when, and, and he explains to the Father. He, he, ex, he has experienced this thing down here upon this earth of living as a man on earth. And he knows what... The problems is with mankind and he understands all it is and he explains it to the father now the father sees Jesus and he cannot deny Jesus Amen. because Jesus is the Christ Jesus is the one that shed his blood on the cross of Calvary and that blood that blood covered your sins and my sins, Amen. whereas God cannot see them. And listen, when he sees Jesus there, and Jesus is telling him, listen, these people are praying, they're living for you, they're trying to do the best they can. And listen, he does not see that sin that the old flesh and all is committing. And so he has to say, yes, these things I'll grant if it's if it's his will. And so that's that's the process that goes on this morning when you go to the Father and you pray and ask forgiveness for your sins and you ask for things that you need. Listen, this is this is the process that goes on. And the Holy Spirit is there with you every day. Amen. So rely on this and 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 get and get uh encouragement with it because listen there's so many people so many people when you say uh holy ghost all oh, they run backwards and they, they're right. afraid to death and all this but listen he's a real spirit he's a, You're right. he's a third part of the godhead and he's he's with us this morning now these things in, in, in verse 8 and when he has come talking about the holy spirit he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment or he will convince them that it's wrong and he will tell he tells you this morning when you do something or when you have a thought about doing something listen he speaks to your heart and he says to you hey you don't need to do that mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of the time well I, we want to argue with him a lot of time we say i don't see no there's nothing wrong with that uh but listen when he tells you and when you get that when you get that feeling in your soul, listen, you better leave it alone because it's wrong for you to do. And listen, sin has to be paid for. And you're not going to pay for the sins when you die that you've done up here on earth. You're going to pay for them while you're here because listen, those that are lost and have never been saved, they're the ones that's going to pay for the sins that they've done once they die. And they're going to be cast into a lake of fire. Right. And where they will be without the presence of God eternally. And that is that is the terriblest thing that a, a, that a human being could even think of. Especially for those that know the Lord. This should help them to stay away from this sin and listen to the Holy Spirit as He directs us. Amen. So here he said here. <clears throat> now notice he says in verse 9. Of sin because... Because they believe not on me. Of righteousness, because I go to my Father and you see me no more. These are some of the things that are going to happen. And of judgment, because the prince of this world is judged. Amen. I have many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. Howbeit when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. Amen. Listen to that. Into all truth. 
For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Now, I want you to look with me this morning in the book of Luke for just a minute or two. We want to read a, a scripture or two in Luke. In Luke 10, if you would, turn your Bible to Luke 10. And verse 17, I believe, where I got the mark, we're going to start. <clears throat> and this, this here, talking about the 70, and I would kind of brief you on this, and I know you're familiar with it, and I know you've read it and all this, but he sent these, these people out. And listen, he, he told us to go out into all the world and to teach and preach the gospel, and that's what we're supposed to do this morning. And he sent these out, and he said, here in verse 9 of, uh, of, uh, of Luke 10, he said, And heal the sick that are therein, and say unto them, The kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. But into whatsoever city ye enter, and they receive you not, go your way out of the street, out into the street, and of the same, and say, Even the very dust of your, of your city, which cleaveth to on us, we do wipe off against you, notwithstanding, be ye sure of this, that the kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. And they were, they were witnessing, they were telling him about Jesus Christ. And listen, this is the, that's, that's, our, that's our major project this morning, our job this morning. That's what that is pleasing to God is that we go out into all the world and that we, that we try to witness, be a witness for God. We sing songs of praise to Amen. Him, and we we tell people about this. And listen, don't feel don't feel tore up and, and, and discouraged because people won't listen to you and they'll make fun of you and all this thing. Because listen, they done it here. They mm -hmm. did it here, and they did it to Jesus Christ. Right. And they're still doing it to Jesus Christ, and they'll still do it to you. But listen, if He lays it on your heart to tell someone about Him, you do it. If he's, a, if he's the biggest sinner uh, that you know of anywhere, it's your responsibility to do it and go there with the intentions of telling him because, listen, if he doesn't heed, if he, if he doesn't listen, if, he's, if he says, get away, don't bother me, I don't want to hear it, what, do what they did. He said they, dust, they shook the dust of the city off on the, of their feet on and, and left them and, and they were guilty of these things. So this is what he wants us to do. And he said here, even the very dust of your city which cleaveth on us, we do wipe off against you, notwithstanding, be ye sure of this, that the kingdom of God has come nigh unto you. In other words, I told you. I've told you what I was supposed to do. You're clear of it, and you can go your way. And they will be the ones that has to suffer for it. And you, you may have to suffer for it. He may, he may want to do this or do that to you. He may want to cause you hard troubles and hard knocks and things like this. But listen, this morning, be assured that you help him hear about the Lord Jesus Christ. And when you stand before God, He's going to say, well done, how good and faithful servant. Amen. That's, that's, that's the beautiful part about it. He's going to say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. And he says here again in, in verse 11 or 12, But I say unto you that it shall be more tolerable in that day for Sodom than for that city. Woe unto thee, uh, Chosan, woe unto thee, that city of for if the mighty works had been done in Tyre and Sodom, which have been done in you, they had a great wall of gold repented, setting in sackcloth and ashes. And so he's saying here, they did not have anybody to go out and witness to them in this city. And so they're setting in ashes and they were destroyed. So here, but it, uh, in verse 15, and thou, Capernaum, which are exalted to heaven, shall be thrust down to hell. He that heareth you, heareth me, and he that despiseth you, despiseth me, and he that despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me. And so we can see the, the chain here. If a person won't listen to you and he won't accept Jesus Christ 
and under, try to understand he hates Jesus, he hates God, he hates the Holy Spirit, and listen, his reward is, is, is coming to him. Now, to our lesson where I was going to read, but in, in verse 17, And the seventy returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. They had made, they had made a, uh, uh, a big uh, saying to all these people, uh, and they, the people heard them, the per people didn't persecute them, and, he, and, and Jesus said unto him, and he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning falling from heaven. And so here, here is the thing. If we go to be witnessing for, for the Lord Jesus Christ, our first desire should be to go to prayer. And ask the Lord, you, you help us. Because you can't do it on your own. Uh, if, 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 you, if, you, if you decide, well, I'm going to go up here and talk to so-and-so, ain't nobody around, nobody hear me, and, and I just do this to kind of ease my conscience. Listen, that's not, that's not what the Lord wants me to do. But listen, when the Holy Spirit speaks to your heart and says to you, hey, you go up here and talk to this person or them, these people, listen, wherever it's at or whatever it is, that's the thing that you need to do, but you need Amen. to pray and ask the Lord, Lord, please guide me and help me with these things because without Him, you'll do nothing. Amen. Without Him, you're not going to be a witness. And so... Here he says, I be help Satan. I help I be help him as the lightning falleth from the heaven. And he says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents Amen. and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemies, and nothing shall by any means hurt you, notwithstanding, here's the key to it. Notwithstanding, in this rejoice not. Don't you rejoice because that you uh, come back in the flesh like say, well, I really put him in his place. I told him what so and so. Listen, that's not what the Bible says for you to do. It says, notwithstanding in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your name, your names are written in heaven. Amen. And so, but this I would that you would turn to the book of Revelations. I want to read just a a few more uh, things here to you in the book of Revelation in chapter 13, I believe it is. <clears throat> Revelation 13. <clears throat> Revelation 13. And look at uh, verse, verse 7. We're going to start right here. Revelation 13, and verse 7. <clears throat> It says, and it was given unto him to make war with the saints. Talking about the same Satan that, uh, that Jesus beheld. And to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindred and tongues and nations. Now this is the one. This is the one that you are witnessing against. This is the one that has all these powers. And listen, you get, you get all built up in the flesh. And you say, boy, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And you go up there and it's just like a man going to a field to, to plow without a plow. Right. And listen, you, you don't have the leadership of the Lord. You don't, uh, you don't have the blessing of the Lord. Listen, you have no chance. But always remember this. When, before you go, you sharpen your axe. Before you do that, you get down on your knees and you pray. And ask Amen. the Lord to bless you because that's the only system that will work. And so he says here, And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given unto him over all kindred and tongues and nations. And remember this, that that power was given to him by the Lord Jesus Christ and God the Father. Because he has none of his own. Amen. He, has no, he has no power without it being given to him. And he says, And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. Whose, uh, let me get to whose names are not written in the book of life Amen. of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Now, we want to look at this just a little bit here. Notice here that the, the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world, 
from the foundation of anything, of the foundation of this church, is the starting of it. Amen. That's what we did first. We laid the foundation. And that's the beginning. And listen, Jesus was with God in, in, in the beginning, and he, he did some, God did a miraculous thing when he let him come into this world through, uh, the, uh, uh, through the woman. And so we know that Jesus has always been there with him that by saying that, he, that, the, that, the, that the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If, now notice in verse 9, If any man hear have an ear, let him hear. Amen. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity, and he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience of the faith of saints. And I beheld another beast come up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, and he exercised all power of the first beast before him, and caused the earth and them that were dwelt therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. And so this morning, I wanted to read this text just to show you who your enemy is. Amen. He is always out there. He is... He is a dreadful, he is a dreadful, dreadful being. And if you don't, if you don't understand that, you think about this when he said to Jesus, if thou be the Son of right. God, cause these stones to be made bread, cast yourself down because it's written, quote his scripture to him from Psalm. If he uh, uh, cast yourself down and, and, and it's written that the angels will bear you up. Listen, he he knows, he knows people, he's smart. And that's what we've got to fight this morning. But we have the Holy Spirit. We have the Holy Spirit this morning within us, dealing with us and Amen. telling us, and, hey, he, sometimes he says, you exit, you exit, you exit, because Satan's up here. Satan is, is waiting for you, and he'll cause you to exit. He'll cause you to move around and get away from Satan. And you know what? And that may sound foolish to you, but listen, it, it happens, people. Amen. It happens all the time. And a lot of times you don't know it. But listen, if you'll listen to the Holy Spirit, hey, you're, you'll be a whole lot better off and a better person. So here, here is this one that we're, 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 we're talking about. Uh, and I want I to wanted, I wanted read just a little bit more. In verse 12, And he exercised all power of the first beast before him and caused the earth and them that dwelt therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders so that he make a fire come down from heaven on the earth in the light of men and deceive them that dwelt on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which he had the wound by the sword and did live and so this morning this is something that we are aware we are very uh, we need to we need to pay attention to it. And I want to read one more place here in, in, in Revelation 20. Just to give you a little bit more eye opening of, of Satan and what he has to do. 20, and then I believe it's uh, 11. 20 and verse 11. Notice. <clears throat> and I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it whose face the earth and heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. Now listen, this white throne, and a lot of people see this, and they, they, they see the scriptures are where that they, they've seen this individual coming down on a white horse. Listen, he's deceiving. He's a deceiver, and this white throne is not for the saints. This is for the lost. No, no, notice. And I saw a white, great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. Talking about those that were lost. And I saw the dead, here they are, small and great, stand before God. And notice here, he, he identifies them, the dead, small and great. And I was thinking as I was trying to study this a little bit on the... Uh, uh, 19, uh, I mean, uh, on a small, uh, and, it, and, 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 uh, and I looked over in 19.5, and it says, And a voice came out of the throne saying, Peace, peace our God, all ye servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. Now here, 
he's talking about small and you, you hear the uh, a lot of times the people will identify small with poor and they'll say all oh, that poor old souls she was such a good woman she was such a good person she's bound to go to heaven listen size don't mean anything Amen. because but listen and your opinion a lot of times don't 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 make it so but he says here he saw the small and the great the rich and the poor all that, that, that because listen because you're poor don't make you saved Right. Because you're poor, don't make you ready to go to hell. Uh, but now, Jesus always spoke about the poor. But listen, the poor can be as great as sinners as the, as the rich. Because Amen. Listen, a, a poor person can, can covet a quarter just like a rich man quarters of, uh, honors a million dollars. So there's no difference in it. But here he says, they're both here at the white throne judgment. <laughs> Notice now. <clears throat> And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books, the books, the Bible, the, book, the Bible is a book of books. And he says here, and I saw, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And so now listen, the book of life is for the names of those that have accepted Jesus Christ as their Savior. Now listen to this now. And the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the book, books, according to their works. Now, all of these people that, that, that believe that works for salvation, works for salvation, just like the Jew believes that the law, keep the law and you're all right. This, I believe, is what he's saying is, at the white throne judgment, this Bible is going to be there as a witness against them. Because they didn't keep the law, and they didn't, they didn't accept Jesus Christ as their Savior. And, and the, book, the book of life here is going to be presented, and they are, their, their names are going to be, they're going to be looked for and see if their name is there, and their name will be there because notice, and, and, and notice in verse 12, another book was opened, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged, every man, according to their works. This is the white throne judgment. This is, a, this is the judgment for the lost. This is, this is, don't have anything to do with welcome thou good and faithful servant. Because he's, he's, he's judged. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is a second death. This is the death that sinners will, uh, will have done to them. They will be, they will be brought out of hell. And I can imagine, I can, I've thought this a lot of time. When they're brought out, they say, oh, the Pope has prayed me out of purgatory and I'm going to be with the Father. Listen, people. They're deceived again. Amen. Because they're going to be brought up and they're going to stand before God at the white throne judgment and they're going to be judged out of the Bible and out of the and their book of life will show that they never had been in, in, in here and they're going to be cast into the lake of fire. Right. Eternally. No escape, nothing like that, and that's that's what's going to happen to them. And so here, again, and who notice in verse fifteen, and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Right. And I saw, and then he says, I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the Amen. first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. So then, that's when. He sees the, the, the new city, New Jerusalem, coming down, settling on the new earth. All sin is gone. There's no sin Amen. here. There's no sin whatsoever. All is peaceful. And we can live eternally with the Lord Jesus Christ, with God the Father, and with God the Holy Spirit. And that's where we'll be. And listen, there won't be, there won't be no sin. Amen. And uh, there won't be 
this old flesh to contend with. Right. Because, listen, this flesh that we have now of the saved will rot in the ground and will rise a glorified body. Those that sin and are not saved, their bodies will rise with that old corruption, with that old cancer, with that old whatever they died with. It will go and join with that that spirit, that, that lost the soul, and that along with that soul will go and be cast into the dark. And so we haven't got a thing in this world to worry about people. Amen. Uh, we should be we should be tickled to death that we have the pleasure and the honor and the glory this morning and the goodness of God that we can have these scriptures read to us and can warn us and can tell us what that we can do to escape this thing with with hell. And and death and hell was cast into the lake of fire. And that's where those that don't know the Lord is going. Amen. Just as just it's 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 right here. There's nothing Junior Page has said to uh, to make it any different. Uh, uh, and I just hope that this thing will help you a little bit, but uh, uh, if you if you there's a play I wanted to read this about the the uh, it's in Thessalonians about the resurrection because those that are those that are uh, called out at the rapture will go, but those that have not been saved will stay back for another thousand years. And we will go into heaven to be with the Lord. And then this white throne judgment will, will come into place. And God will, God will call those, those out that have died in sin. And their old bodies and their old sinful souls will go and sin before Him. And uh, they'll hear this. And so uh, it's, 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 uh, it's good to hear it. Amen. It's good for me to, it's good for me to hear it. Because listen, uh, I've got it all game, nothing to lose. Uh, and by serving the Lord, when you serve the Lord, you ain't got nothing to lose. And uh, uh, that's that's just it this morning. And I I hope this morning that each one of you will think upon these things because listen, this little life down here ain't gonna last very much longer. You're right. And uh, we've got a we've got an eternity. We're we're preparing for an eternity right now, whether we will. Uh, or, and, and if the Lord has called you and spoke to you, you need to serve Him. You need to you need to obey Him and do everything that you can to please Him, because one day you're going to stand before Him and He's going to pass out rewards. And uh, I don't know, I, I don't understand how rewards will make any difference in heaven, because I'm going to be there with with the Father. But listen, they're going to play their part. And uh, uh, you see rewards spoken of in the Bible quite a bit. And uh, I know they're going to happen. And uh, uh, so this morning, uh, thank you for these things that we've said. And I hope that I've been a blessing. Uh, and that the Lord has spoke to your hearts this morning. Thank you all for listening. Amen.